Hi, I hope you all are doing good today. Well, in this video, I'm going to share some of my experiences with selling my artwork online in 2020. I'm going to discuss whether I've had better results on marketplaces like Etsy, eBay, or Mercari versus my own website and promoting it through social media. I think trying to figure out where to put your time as an artist sometimes causes issues for us because all of these things like marketplaces, they take so much time. Social media, so much time. Doing your own website, so much time. And so it's like if you could figure out where you fit, where you're probably going to make the most money, then it's going to be a lot easier to have success. For me, what I've done is not what I recommend for other people to do. I've just done everything. I've done every possible thing I could think of and I've done it to the max and I've spent hundreds and hundreds of hours online building up everything and I've done this because I feel like I'm shooting in the dark I don't really have anybody that can tell me what to do as a business person I feel like I just have to do it all and figure it out so I'm hoping that you can learn from some of my experiences and my mistakes and then you won't have to work as hard as I did to try to figure all this stuff out well first and foremost if you're going to start your own website I've had a lot of luck with Etsy pattern websites and I'll post a link in the description area for that if you're interested in learning more. I'm not an affiliate of Etsy or anything like that. I don't get anything for recommending them, but I like it. It's only 15 bucks a month. And what's awesome about it is that is every time I upload my products to my pattern website, they also automatically upload to Etsy. So I'm sort of, you know, only spending the same amount of time, but I'm getting them in two locations, which is awesome. And anytime you can streamline your stuff like that and have multiple things that you can do with one action, that's just gravy, right? <laughs> and so I, I love my Etsy pattern site. I had websites before this um, that I designed myself through uh, WordPress installations and WooCommerce. And you know, they were okay. And, and, I, and I had a great looking website. It functioned properly, but I was constantly getting hacked all the time. And I had to pay extra through GoDaddy to have you know all this monitoring on my website. And by the time I was paying for all that stuff, it's so much cheaper for me just to pay for an Etsy pattern site. I don't have to mess with it. I don't have to update anything. It just all works all the time on every platform, on phones, every device. So I, I love that it takes the hassle out of my life. But the thing is, if you have a website and you don't promote it on social media, it's going to do nothing for you. You can do all the SEO you want in the world. That's search engine optimization. And people still aren't going to find you enough to make it even worth it. So if you create a website and then you just stick it out there and you don't do anything to promote it, well, you're going to fail. So don't do that at all. If, if that's your plan and you're not willing to do the commitment of advertising yourself constantly on social media, I'm talking making a social media account on every single social media network that's relevant to you and posting every day at least once. If you're not willing to do that, then the website route is not for you. The alternative is to create a lot of different marketplace accounts. And I would suggest not doing just one. Um, I found that one isn't enough to really make a dent in my personal income. I have to be on a lot of them. Uh, but there are software that you can find. I'm not gonna recommend any of them on here because they change a lot. And what I've done over the years, some of them aren't around anymore and you know platforms change so i'm not going to recommend any but you can google search for them there are different software that you can pay for from anywhere from like 50 to 100 dollars a month where it will sync all of your listings like on ebay and etsy and you know lots of different sites um, and you can do it like through a shopify store if you want so there's uh, there's a lot of options out there if you don't want to upload every single product to every single marketplace. Another option is to hire somebody off of Fiverr because they will transfer all of your products. Like if you have them on your Etsy shop, let's say you started your Etsy pattern store and then everything automatically went onto Etsy and then you want to get them over on eBay, you can pay somebody like a dollar a product and they'll transfer them for you onto eBay. Over the past few years, I've had more luck with selling my artwork consistently on marketplaces than I have selling it on my personal website. But it's been interesting because ever since the pandemic, I've started selling huge amounts of stuff on my website. I only sold artwork on my website before, but now I'm selling three times as much in 2020 and it's been consistent every single month. This started actually before the pandemic. And I think what really has all clicked into place is that this year 
I finally started getting really consistent with my social media marketing and I, I literally promote myself every single day on every single social network that I can possibly think of. I even do YouTube videos every day and doing all of this and then having all of the social networks linked to my website has brought me a lot of exposure and that's led to a lot of sales too. When looking at this year in 2020, especially since the pandemic, I also had an increase in sales on my Etsy shop. I haven't had an increase in sales on my eBay much. Uh, Mercari, which I just started this year, I had a lot of sales during the pandemic, like a crazy amount of sales. But then it sort of trailed off over the last couple of months. So I, I have some theories on why that is, and I might share that in another video once I test things and see if, if I'm right. But, but so, I, so I think I need to do a little more work on my Mercari shop to get it going or to keep it going. Um, but all in all, like I think I've had roughly equivalent sales since my sales increased on my website as on the marketplaces during this whole year. Now I know that doesn't tell you much because it's like, okay, 50-50 and I'm making enough to more than support myself off of doing this full time without doing anything else, uh, as uh, not working any side job, not doing art fairs. Normally about 10% of my income comes from working online sales. So marketplaces and my website and anything I can do online to bring in income. And then 90% of it would come from my art gallery at the mall here in Wichita, and then all of the traveling art shows that I do in the major cities throughout the Midwest. Since the pandemic, all of that is totally gone. And so I can't do that, the majority of my business. So I kind of thought when this year started, I knew I had to close my gallery and all this, I was like, you know, this is just gonna be awful. I'm gonna go bankrupt. But as it turns out, that's not the case. Now, I'm not making the level of income that I was before, that's for sure. But I'm making more than enough to pay my bills. And so I'm cool with that. I can do that. I can be in this holding pattern until I can go back to having my gallery again and doing art fairs again. And and, and then it'll just build everything else more, right? So it, it's, it's pretty awesome. I feel really blessed for that and the experience that I've had. All in all, if I was recommending to somebody what to do, like if you're just starting out, and you're trying to figure out should you do a website and social media or should you do a marketplace I would suggest if I had to start it all over again my first place to start would be to get on Etsy and also start an Etsy pattern shop because I think out of everything I've done those two puzzle pieces have created the most income online for me and then using social media to promote my website and my Etsy shop because you can't just start an Etsy shop in 2020 without also promoting it. So ultimately, if you want to succeed on either of these ways, I, I think promoting your stuff is, is, is crucial on social media. If you're starting out on social media, the best places to promote yourself are Facebook, Instagram, LinkedIn, Twitter, YouTube, uh, Reddit is also a good one. So there's probably some more I can think of off the top of my head, but if you could kind of start doing all of those posts every day, and then you'll get yourself going. It takes time to build this up. I mean, it's not gonna happen overnight. That's the other you know, big message here. You have to put a lot of work in. I've been building my personal brand and my art business online for many years now. I mean, I started my YouTube channel in 2007 and I started selling my artwork online. I was trying to in I think 2012-ish I started. So it's it, it's been a long time coming and for the first five years, it was like a slow trickle. If that's all I had done with my art career, I would think I was gonna be a failure and I probably wouldn't have continued. But then I started doing in-person art events and I realized that my art was selling like crazy. And so it wasn't my art that wasn't selling, it was the way I was marketing it that wasn't working. In closing, I would love to hear your thoughts on art marketing and whether selling on marketplaces has been a positive thing for you or if you've had a better result with selling on your website and promoting yourself on social media. All right, well, thank you so much for watching. I'll see you next time.